Welcome to the Madison Motor Podcast. Today is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Today we're going to recap yesterday's college basketball, NBA, and NHL games. Look ahead to today's games in each sport. We'll go over college football from yesterday. Look ahead to today. Same for soccer. We have golf to do. And there'll be awards talk, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start with college basketball. We're going to rapid fire through the Last night, and we will look ahead to uh, tonight's games. Um, UC Davis over North Dakota State, 68-53. Incarnate Ward over Schreiner, 104-63. UMBC over Penn State, York, 84-65. Providence over Wisconsin, 72-59. Number 7, Tennessee beats Wofford, 82-61. UNC Asheville beats Carolina, 1-17-54. And I mean Carolina University Um. LaSalle beats Bucknell at 69-57. Number 5, UConn beats Mississippi Valley State at 87-53. Number 9, Duke beats number 18, Michigan State 74-65. Number 10, FA beats Eastern Michigan 157. Grambling beats Champion Christian 113-73. Nancy Wilmington beats Columbia International 116-80. Alabama State beats Oglethorpe 115-54. Morris State beats Mercer, 74-66. Jacksonville beats Georgia Southern, 85-68. Chattanooga beats Bellarmine, 72-64. Northern Kentucky beats DePau, 85-68. Indiana State beats IUPUI, 96-57. Lipscomb beats Tennessee Tech, 96-65. Temple beats Trexel, 66-64. Anthony Central beats Mid-Atlantic Christian, 113-50. Penn State beats St. Fran PA, 83-53. Ball State beats Oakland City, 92-51. Oakland beats Bowling Green, 80 80- 162. Syracuse beats Colgate, 79-75. Rhode Island beats Wagner, 69-53. Queens beats High Point, 74-72. Harvard beats Northeastern, 80-56. Rouge Washington beats Hofstra, 71-60. Sacred beats Holy Cross, 84-77. Toledo beats Rice State, 78-77. St. Joe's beats Stonehill, 156. Florida beats Florida and m 8968. West Virginia beats Jacksonville State, 7057. Virginia beats NCAT, 8051. New Hampshire beats Brown, 8264. Akron beats Heidelberg, 11456. Howard beats BU, 6453. Mississippi State beats North Alabama, 8154. UMass Law beats Georgia Tech, 7471. Sanford beats Mississippi College, 9652. Um, Belmont beats Berry, 9350. Yeah, 9359. Um, number four, Marquette beats number 23, Illinois, 7164. Number 15, Texas A&M beats SMU, 7966. Number 22, Alabama beats South Alabama, 10246. Northern Iowa beats Loris, 9050. Southern Indiana beats Tiffin, 6865. Prairie View beats Abilene Christian, 7974. Austin P beats Fisk, 7952. Arkansas C beats Alcorn State, 186. Vandy beats UNC Greensboro, 7470. Ole Miss beats Detroit, 7069. Western Kentucky beats Murray State, 8681. Great beats Southeast or Southwest Minnesota State, 8767. Valpo beats Green Bay, 6459. Colorado State beats Northern Colorado, 8364. Bradley beats Tarleton State, 8663. Oklahoma beats Texas State, 9354. Lamar beats TTSA, 9082. Northwestern beats Western Michigan, 6359. McNeese beats Latorno, 8149. Texas Christian beats Texas Rio Grande, 88-55. UIC beats Loyola Chicago, 72-67. Cal State Northridge beats Chicago State, 74-64. Troy beats Reinhardt, 111-46. Number 11, Gonzaga beats Eastern Oregon, 123-57. Number 25, Colorado beats Milwaukee, 106-79. New Mexico State beats Western New Mexico, 78-43. DePaul beats South Dakota, 72-60. Utah State beats Southern Utah, 93-84. Idaho beats Evergreen, 88-42. Santa Clara upsets Stanford, 89-77. Sac State beats Pacific Union, 128-66. Um, number one, Kansas beats number 17, Kentucky, 89-84. And what was the game of the night? Number eight, Creighton beats Iowa, 91 or 92 84. Number 15, Baylor beats UMKC, 99-61. San Diego State beats Long Beach State, 88-76. Loyola Merriman beats Jackson State, 88-66. Oregon State beats App State, 81-71 in overtime. UC Irvine upsets number 16, USC, 70-60. And Hawaii beats Hawaii Hilo, 82-66.
All right, like I said, rapid fire style, 6 o'clock, Campbell, Virginia Tech. Uh, projection for this game is Vatek 14. And it is 19 after 1 through 7. I'll take Campbell in the points. Um, Albany, Seton Hall, Fox Sports 1, 630. I have Seton Hall by 34. And it's 20 and a half and 141. I'll lay the points at Seton Hall. 7 o'clock, Denver Nichols. I have Nichols 14 and a half. And it's 3 and a half. It's on a neutral site, too. 158 and a half. It's at the Mitchell Center. So, it's good to know. Um, so, my projection is actually 11 after Nichols. So I'm going to lay the points. Um, Westville State Dartmouth, you can skip Roberts Wesley and Buffalo. You can skip Delaware, Delaware State. My line is State 13. It should be Delaware seven and a half. And it is ten and a half. And one forty half. I'll take state in the points. Um Canisius Cleveland State, I have Cleveland State one and a half. And it's seven and a half, one forty five and a half, I'll take Canisius in the points. Kaiser, Kennesaw State, we can skip Richmond, BC. I have BC by 14. And it's five and a half, one for one half. I like the points. Uh, Sunny, um, Delhi and Columbia, we can skip. Coppa State, Louisville. I have Louisville by a whopping 25 and a half and 17 and a half and 149 and a half. I like Louisville. New Jersey battle. St. Peter's, Fairleigh Dickinson. So it's the battle of the two teams that were um, making runs last year and the year before. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have Fairly Dickinson eleven and a half, and St. Peter's one half total one thirty nine half. I'll take Dickinson plus the points and whatever the money line is probably even money. Um, Princeton Decane, I have Decane by seventeen and a half, and it is Decane five and a half one forty six and a half. I'll lay the points of Decane. Utah Valley, Charlotte. I have Utah Valley by 13 and a half on the road. And Charlotte's favored. Six and a half total, 135 and a half. I'll take Utah Valley plus the points. What's the 90 outright? SC Upstate, Eastern Carolina. I have East Carolina 20 and a half. And um. It is eleven and a half and one forty three and a half. I'll lay the points. Merrimack, Ohio State, Big Ten Network. I have Ohio State twenty four and a half, and it is twenty one and a half, one thirty one and a half. I'll lay the points. Central Michigan, South Florida. I have South Florida twenty two and seventeen and a half, one forty five and a half. I'll lay the points. Radford VCU at VCU eight and a half, and it's five and a half one thirty three and a half. I'll lay the points. Binghamton Loyola Maryland. I have Loyola by three. And it's two and a half one forty one half. I'll take the over. Um. Seven thirty Cornell and George Mason. I have George Mason four and a half, and it is. Two and a half, one forty seven, I'll follow the points. Evansville, Southeast Missouri. I have Southeast Missouri by a half, and it's two and a half, one fifty and a half. I'll take Evansville plus the points. Trinity Baptist, Bethune, Cookman, and Science, North Oklahoma, and Texas Commerce. And um, Commerce, we could skip those. Eight o'clock, FAO, Houston Christian. I have Houston Christian eight and a half, and it's FIU by ten and a half, total one fifty eight and a half. I'll take Christian plus the points, plus four seventy outright.
Unless if I had that line look uh, incorrect, let's see. Because you think that's a little nuts. Um... Yeah. Um, that's a wonk one. Um, Louisiana Christian, Louisiana, we could skip. Longwood, Maryland, Eastern Shore. I have Longwood by seven. And seven and a half, one, three, eight and a half. I'll take the over. But I don't feel good about it. Savior, Louisiana, Southern Miss, we could skip. Eastern Illinois, Illinois State, I have Illinois State by nine and a half. And it's 11 and a half, one, four and a half. I'll take Eastern plus the points. Um, Stony Brook, Nebraska. I have Nebraska by 18. And 16 and a half and one four and a half over. Fox Sports 30 Georgetown Rutgers. I have Rutgers by six and a half. And it is nine and a half, one thirty five and a half. I'll take Georgetown the cover. All right, Rice against. Number 19, Texas at 9 o'clock on the Longhorn Network. I have Texas by 29. And it's 20 and a half, 153 and a half. Play the points. Southeast Louisiana, BYU. I have BYU 8 and a half. And it's 20 and a half, 156 and a half. I'll take the points. That's a lot. Um, Tennessee State, Portland. I have Portland 7 and a half. And it's 8 and a half, 157 and a half. I'll take. And that's a hard one. In terms of where to go, total or um, outside on the total, I like the under. Um, Northern Arizona and Seattle at 10. I have Seattle by 19. It's 13 and a half, 144 and a half. Play the points. LIU, UCLA, Pac 12 Network. I have UCLA by a whopping 52 to 32 and a half, and 141 and a half. Play the points. Pacific Nevada, I have Nevada. Seven and a half, and it's thirteen and a half and one fifty and a half, and I'll take Pacific in the points. Last but not least, Morgan State, Fresno State, at ten thirty. I have Fresno five and a half, and it's eighteen and a half and one forty and a half. I'll take Morgan State to cover the spread here. Okay, now I'll move on to the NBA. Um, we'll quickly recap the game from yesterday. Look ahead to tonight's slate. All right. East Group B in season tournament group play Heat over to Hornets 111-105. Um, group A Hawks over to Pistons 126-120. Group A Pacers over to Sixers 132-126. Group C Nets over to Magic 124-104. Group C in the West Thunder over to Spurs 123-87. So best bet easy winner. Um, West Group B Pelicans over to Mavericks 131-110. West Group A Jazz over to Blazers 115-99. West Group B, Nuggets over to Clippers, 111-108. West Group C, Timberwolves over to Warriors, 104-101. And West Group A, Lakers over to Grizzlies, 134-107. All right, only two games. Or no, that's tomorrow night. Um, So tonight, so 7 o'clock, Mavs Wizards. I have Mavs 14 and a half, total 239 and 7 tenths. And it's 5 and a half and 243. I'm laying the five and a half at Dallas. Seven thirty Knicks Hawks. I have Hawks by four total two twenty five and nine twentieths, and it is Hawks only by one total two thirty. Who? Um, I'm gonna go under. ESPN tonight Celtics Sixers. I have Celtics three half total two twenty nine and a fifth. You would think that Mike Breen might be doing this one, but also feels like a Dave Pash kind of game. And it's four and two twenty four um over. Bucks Raptors. I have Raptors as a six and a half point dog, total two twenty five and four fifths, and it's four and a half and two twenty seven. Um I'm gonna lay the four and a half with the Bucks. Eight o'clock Magic Bulls. I have the Magic four and a half, total two twenty and nine twentieths. And it's Bulls by two, total two fifteen and a half. Um I'm going to take Orlando plus 2 and plus 114 outright. Timberwolves, Suns at 9. I have two wolves by 4, total 219 and 7 20ths. And it is Suns by 6, total 227. I'm give you the Minnesota Timberwolves plus the 6 and plus 94 outright. That's crazy. 
Um, 10 o'clock, ESPN, Kings, Lakers. I have Lakers by 6, still 228. It's 1, 2, 3, 2.5. Um, I'm going to lay the one with the Lakers. And last but not least, Cavs, Blazers. I have Cavs 12 and a half, still 221 and 320. And it is 9.5 and, and 221. I'm going to lay 9.5 with Cleveland. All right, NHL. We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to. Bruins over to Sabres, 5-2. Flames over to Habs, 2-1. Caps over to Knights, 3-0. Pens over to Jackets, 5-3. Blues over to Lightning, 5-0. Ducks over to Preds, 3-2. Coyotes over to Stars, 4-3. No T. Jets over to Devils, 6-3. And the Panthers over to Sharks, 4-3. All right. And the slate for tonight, four games, 7-3. TNT, Flyers, Canes. Um, should that game be on TNT? Mm, probably not. Um, Canes minus 240. Flyers plus 195 over under 6.5. Overs plus 110. Unders minus 134. Flyers plus 1.5 is minus 138. Canes minus 1.5 is plus 106. Um, I like the over plus money. 830. Kraken Oilers. Um, Oilers minus 184. Kraken plus 152 over under 6.5. Overs minus 130. Unders plus 106. Kraken plus one half is minus one fifty six. Oilers minus one half is plus one three. I'm taking Seattle plus one fifty two. Fade the Oilers. Nine o'clock Ducks Habs. Habs minus twenty. Ducks plus two twenty five. Over under six and a half. Overs minus weight. Unders minus one twelve. Ducks plus one half is minus one five. Habs minus one half is minus one fourteen. I'm taking the Ducks on the puck line plus one half and minus one five. They these two teams have the same number of points. Through. The first um, 15 games or so. Then 10 o'clock TNT is a decent one. Islanders, Canucks. Canucks minus 164. Isles plus 136. Over under 6 and a half. Overs plus 1 weight. Under is minus 132. Isles plus 1 half is minus 178. Canucks minus 1 half is plus 146. For this one, um, I'm going to take the over at plus money only because Vancouver likes to um, score a lot. Now we will go over the college football results from last night and look ahead to tonight's games. It's Maxion um, that we have tonight. Just like last night, Toledo over Bowling Green, 32 31. Northern Illinois over Western Michigan, 24 0. And Eastern Michigan over Akron, 30 27 in double overtime. So, two really good games and one boring game. 7 o'clock ESPN U tonight. Central Michigan, Ohio. Projection for this game Ohio by 8, total 45 and 3 quarters. And it is Ohio by 10 and a half, total 46 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Central Michigan They're getting the points. I think that they hang around here. And on ESPN2, Buffalo, Miami of Ohio. I have Miami of Ohio by 15.5, total 48.5, and, and it is 8.5 and, and 39.5. And Oof. Nine-point edge on the over and a seven-point edge on Miami of Ohio. You know where I'm going, and the answer is the over in that game. Okay, now we'll move on to soccer. Um, we have results to go over from the um, um, the FA Cup first round. And we also have under-17 World Cup to do as well. Um, but... Copa del Rey um, qualifying round. Adsoneta over Real Zaragoza 2-1. Um, and then the FA Cup for English. Um, Barnsley over Horsham 3-0. Peterborough over Salford City. Five for on penalties, but it was a four four draw. Um Doncaster over Accrington two one in additional extra time. Port Vale over Burton 
Albion 2 0, Cruet over Derby 3 1, Grimsby Town over Slaughton Town 7 2, York City over Chester 2 1, and Forest Green over Scarborough 5 2. And then today, 2 45, you have Cray Valley and Charlton. I do not think we have that game posted yet. If posted at all. Um, so, yeah, English FA Cup, um, yes, Charlton minus 550, um, Cray Valley is 10 to 1, the draws plus 550, I'm gonna go with over three and a half goals at minus 102. The U-17... Um, World Cup results from Tuesday. Brazil over New Caledonia 9-0. Um, Senegal over Poland 4-1. England over Iran 2-1. And Argentina over Japan 3-1. And then going on right now is Mexico, Venezuela, and U.S. and Burkina Faso. And then just about to get underway. Uh, France, South Korea, and New Zealand. And Germany. Um, but we don't have anything for that yet. In the UEFA Women's League for champions, um, SK Braun over St. Poulton 2-1, Eintracht over Rosengard 2-1, Lyon over South Pergu 9-0, and Barcelona over Benfica 5-0. And then today, 12 for 5, Bayern and Roma, Paris, FC and BK, Hacken, Ajax, PSG, and Real Madrid and Chelsea. All right, now we have Euro qualifiers at 245. You have Switzerland and Israel. Switzerland's minus 220. Israel's plus 550, and the draw's plus 330. For this one, I'm going to go with under 2.5 goals at even money for that game. And... I'm going to quickly check if there is any more soccer that we are missing. Um, and then... We do have um, FIFA World Cup qualifying CIF, um, Mkhitaryan, Guinea, and Namibia, Rwanda, and Zimbabwe, both at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., Congo, DR, and Mauritania, and at 2 o'clock, um, Ethiopia, and Sierra Leone. another tournament coming up this time it is the rsm classic from sea island seaside course um tea times 8 a.m mj doffe matthew neesmith will gordon brendan Wu, um tanner guinea alex Baddeley, ryan moore jonas blix russell knox ben martin kelly craft and so chang du 8-11. Justin Lauer, Robbie Shelton, Harrison Endicott, Carson Young, Zach Blair, Kevin Tway, Sean O'Hare, Ryan Palmer, Josh Teeter, Dylan Langworth, Sung Kang, Jason Hadley. 822. JJ Spawn, Eric Cole, Stefan Yeager, um, Jensen Pond, Kevin Chappell, Martin Laird, Mark Hubbard, Luke List, Zach Johnson, Francesco Lordardi, Grayson Chambers, Matt Kuchar. 833. Camp Champ, Adam Shank, Nicholas Secavaria, Ludwig Gaberg, Tyler Duncan, Cam Young, Corey Connors, Andrew Landry, Stuart Sink, Brendan Gay, Robert Streb, Gungu Lee. 
844. Pat Nasir, Grayson Murray, Andrew Novak, Grayson Teague, Max McGreevy, Brian Harmon, Davis Thompson, Chris Kirk, Brendan Todd, Paul Haley, Dylan Fratelli, Peter Malnati. 855. Um, Nate Lashley, um, Matthias Schwab, um, on Yu Chun. Um, on your chun, yes. Um, uh, David Ford, Maxwell Ford, um, Ricky Barnes, Jonathan Berg, Sangil No, Davis Love, actually it's Chun on you. That's how you say uh, his name. Apologies. Um, Andrew Long, Matt Trader, Matt McNeely, 906, um, Michael Glidjik, Scott Harrington, Kevin Roy, Peter Quest, Trevor Werblow, Brennan Carr, Jacob Solomon, um, Ben Coles, Ryan Gerard. Now just do notables. 917, um, Jason Duffler, Charlie Hoffman, Dylan Will, Keith Mitchell, Hank Labiota, Taylor Montgomery, Hayden Buckley, Austin Father, and Vincent Whaley, Doug Gim, Wesley Bryant, and Justin Sue. 928, Austin Acro, Callum Tarrant, Harry Higgs, Thomas Dietrich, Taylor Pendrith, Nate Watney, Jimmy Walker, Kevin Streelman, Ben Crane, Brian Stewart, Sodi Kodiara, 939, Mackenzie Hughes, Ryan Henley, Community of Vegas, Brad Horschel, Webb Simpson, Austin Cook, Scott Stevens, Lucas Griffin, Kramer Hickok, um, 950, Cybul Kim, Richie Wierenski, Nate Hardy, JT Potson, Robert Brem, Ashke Bahita, Adam Swepson, Dylan McCarthy, Joaquin Herman, Kevin Kisner, Scott Stallings, Harry English, 1001, Henrik Norlander, Tyson Alexander, um, Sam Ryder, Bryce Cornett, Ryan Ramore, Alex Loren, Chris Stroud, Scott Piercy, Trey Merritt, Will McGirt, 10-12, um, Brent Grant, Augusto Nunez, Kevin Westmoreland, Doc Redmond, Ben Taylor, Matthias Schmid, Trevor Cohn, Estelanzo Goya, and Cam Percy. Um, interesting tournament, obviously. Um, last year... Um, Adam Swepson won the tournament, um, the year before it was Taylor Gooch, COVID year, it was Robert Streb, 2019 was Tyler Duncan and then Webb Simpson in the playoff, 2018 was Charles Howell. 2017 was Austin Cook. So we had some good winners over the past um, several years. This player came close last time. I'm sure he's a long shot on the board. That's why I'm only paying a small price for him. Um, he's 18 to 1. And the price I'm going to pay is two units. Or not two units. Um, I can't believe I just said that. I meant to say... Um, a fifth of a unit, two tenths. I had uh, I had twenty in my head, so uh, two fifths of a unit. Brian Harmon, eighteen to one to win the RSM Classic. 
Okay, MLB Awards. Um, the managers of the year were announced in each league. Your winner of the National League Manager of the Year was, of course, Craig or um, Skip Shoemaker. I had Craig Council in my head for some reason. Maybe because I had him on my mind. Um, and he was a finalist. Um, and the American League was Brandon Hyde. So I was correct on both of those, just like I was correct on the uh, Rookies of the Year winners. Um, coming in second for American League was Bruce Bochy with Kevin Cash coming third, Rocco Bodelli fourth, Dusty Baker fifth, John Schneider sixth. Um, so there's 30 voters. Three people voted for Bochi, and they were Faye Jorgen of the KC Star, Joe Reedy of the AP, and um, Jeff Wilson of Rangers Today. But absolutely did uh, um, high deserve it, I thought. And then the National League, this was wide open. Um, Skip Shoemaker got eight first place votes, eight second place votes, and eight third place votes of 72 points. So a second place vote is three points. Um, Craig Council, second with 51 points. Uh, Brian Snicker, 48 points. Troy Lovello, 42 points. David Roberts, 41 points. Blah. Um, David Bell Reds, 13 points. And David Ross Cubs, 3 points. So, someone voted, someone gave Rossi a second place vote. I want to know who that was. That was Paul Newberry of the uh, AP in Atlanta. So if David Bell got 13 points and a second place vote was three points, so so two second place votes, that's six points. And then 13 minus six is seven. I'm doing math here on the podcast. That's new. Um, So I would assume a first place vote was five points, and then three, and then one, which would make sense. Yeah, so Skip Shoemaker, eight times five is 40. Eight times three is 24. So that would be 74 plus eight. I'm sorry, 64 plus eight is 72. There you go. So that makes sense. So, so na- National League Manager Year was kind of um, open. But Shoemaker deserved the win. He got that team to the playoffs. And I want to see the Rookie of the Year voting from the uh, BWAA. Um, so Gunnar Henderson was unanimous. And then B-Bay came in second. Kasoff's third. Josh Jung fourth. Um, Yanir Diaz, 5th, Masataki Yoshida, 6th, um, Edward Julian of the Twins, 7th, and Anthony Volpe got a 3rd place vote. Who was that? Someone in New York? No, um, Mark Dittler of the AP covering, uh, in the Tampa area. Interesting. So that's probably a, uh, a race guy to seen the Yankees too much, um, And then the other side, I know Carroll is unanimous and deservingly so. Um, Senga second, wow. Outman third. Um, Nolan Jones fourth. McLean fifth. Streeter sixth of the two Reds guys. Yuri Perez seventh of the Marlins. Ellie De La Cruz eight. And Patrick Bailey ninth. So... And then the voting for Rookie D.C. are just the same for the um, 
manager here. So Cy Young's are being announced tonight in the American League and the National League. Um, so the American League, it's Garrett Cole, Kevin Gossman, and Sonny Gray. In the National League, it's Zach Gallen, Blake Stahl, and Logan Webb. <sighs> Garrett Cole will probably win the American League. As a Yankees fan, um, I uh, am happy for him, but the team missed the playoffs and won 83 games. I mean, they had a miserable season by their standards. And the Yankees are going to treat this like it's a participation trophy. <laughs> I mean, I understand Judge last year. They were... um a division winner last year that made the uh, ALCS, although got swept by what turned out to be the World Series champion, Houston Astros. So, um, And that sweep, that sweep was bad when it happened, but it looked better by the day in the World Series because they no-hit the Phillies, and then they won that series in six. So um, that sweep didn't look all that bad because of the no-hitter. But, um, but yeah, Judge... Deserved MVP. I mean, not that Cole doesn't deserve the Cy Young. He probably does, but I just feel weird as a fan that had a disappointing year with the guy uh, winning an award. Well, good for him. Um, I think Gossman will come in second, and I think Sonny Gray will come in third. And then the National League's the harder one. I think Blake Snell wins. Zach Gallon second. Logan Webb third. So, um, I'm going to say Garrett Cole and Blake Snell win their respective awards. Okay, now we move on to the news and notes for today. Um... So, a lot of NBA stuff. Um, there was a fight in the Warriors Timberwolves game as Draymond put Rudy Gobert in a chokehold. Tempers flared, and Draymond got ejected. Um, McDaniel um, got ejected on Minnesota. I think Clay got ejected. Crazy fight. And then the Grizzlies and the Lakers got heated. Um, Desmond Bain and Anthony Davis went face-to-face. Don't forget, these two teams played in the playoffs last year against one another, and the Lakers beat Memphis. Obviously, LeBron came back last night against the Grizz. Um, Ben Simmons missed some time with the uh, nerve issue, will not need surgery. Um, Steph Curry did not play against the Timberwolves due to knee soreness. That's not great, considering what transpired in that game too um so some baseball stuff um all qualifying offers declined Shoy Otani and Blake Stell among seven players that turned down one year 20.3 dollar 20.3 million dollar qualifying offer so they're all going to be free agents um the Yankees have shown interest in Yashinobu, Yamamoto, and Aaron Nola, among others. So they're active in the starting pitching market. That makes sense. Uh, Luis Severino, free agent. Um, Domingo Herman's gone. So they have some spots to fill in their rotation. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm going to do the um, off-season predictions show tomorrow or even tonight. Either tonight or tomorrow night. We'll see. But um, should be uh, an interesting off season. Um, and then there's been some back and forth between Giancarlo Stanton, Asian, and Brian Cashman. Um, and Joel Wolf is Stanton's agent, and Yamamoto has the same agent as Stanton. That's not great. Um, but. That's irrelevant when it comes to um, Yamamoto. Like, because of one client's having problems doesn't mean the other client will. We see that in sports all the time. 
Um, and then the sad news in baseball, um, Padres owner Peter Seidler passes away at the age of 63. Um, that's sad news. Thoughts and prayers go out. Rest in peace to Peter Seidler. And then, um, that's just sad news. 63 years old. That's very, um, fairly young. Um, and a new Darvish brought flowers to, uh, Seidler's memorial at Petco Park, which was very nice. And then, back to the Stanton Yankees drama, um, and then Stanton's agent, or his rep, yeah, the agent warns free agents about signing with the Yankees after, uh, Cashman's comments, um, I just think that that agent's just mad, obviously, and and Stanton's mad, and that's kind of a mess, but it's not the Yankees' fault that Giancarlo Stanton's hurt all the frickin' time. It's not that, I mean, yeah, it was a bad trade, obviously, now looking back. They didn't win a championship with him, and, I mean, you could make a case... They probably would have won a title had they not traded for Stanton. They, if they went somewhere else instead of Stanton, maybe Garrett Cole a couple years earlier, they would have won a title. Maybe, I don't know, um, a different player that they could have gotten instead of Stanton. So, like, I understand why uh, the Yankees are mad with Stanton. Um... The A's move is likely to be approved um, this week. Um, the fans of Oakland are not going to be happy about that. Um, the college football playoff rankings came out last night as Georgia is now the new number one and deservingly so. Ohio State is two. Michigan is three. Florida State's four. Washington's 5, Oregon is 6, Texas 7, 8's Alabama, ninth Missouri, and 10 is Louisville. So Missouri made a big job. 11 through 15, Oregon State, Penn State, Ole Miss, Oklahoma, LSU. 16 through 20, Iowa, Arizona, Tennessee, Notre Dame, North Carolina. 21 through 25, Kansas State, Utah, Oklahoma State, Tulane, Kansas. So the same 25 teams are in it. Kansas drops all the way to 25. Iowa moves up six spots. Oklahoma State drops eight spots for the UCF loss. Missouri moves up big. North Carolina, Kansas moves up good. Arizona moves up good. LCU, I'm sorry, um, Iowa had the big jump we talked about. So, yeah, and then low-key Louisville, one loss in the 10 spot. So keep an eye on um, Louisville. Um. There's a 90% chance Quinn Ewers forgoes the NFL draft for another year at Texas. That's surprising, but that is not good for Arch Manning. Like, if I'm Arch Manning, do you transfer? Because Quinn Ewers comes back? Arch Manning's hyped up to be one of the greatest quarterback prospects we've ever seen. And Quinn Ewers is like, hey, I'm going to go back to school. Um, Trayvon Diggs calls out, um, Josh Allen, um, and he continues to defend Stephon Diggs after the Bills loss. Yikes. Um, Jerry Jones confirms that Leighton Van Der Esch out for the season due to the neck injury. That's brutal for the Dallas defense, so they lose him and Trayvon Diggs now for the year. Um, Nick Chubb has second knee surgery, expected to return next year after ACL and MCL tears. The Jets held a players-only meeting after Sunday's loss against the Raiders. Garrett Wilson held it. And how about this? The Bills fire offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey after um, the old Denver loss. Wow. That is one that we did not see coming. Um, I thought maybe the defensive coordinator could have been let go, but the offensive coordinator, interesting. Um, 
it does make sense considering how bad they were against the Giants. They were not good in week one against the Jets. They've had other head-scratching moments. The only good offensive performance they've had all season was that Dolphins game. And then the, against the Commanders, too. But, yikes. And we'll see who uh, ends up getting that job long-term. I mean, is it inconceivable that Brian Dayball gets fired from the Giants and he returns to Buffalo as their offensive coordinator? I mean, there's a report that came out from Pat Leonard, who I do not think is a competent beat writer, despite covering the Giants for the Daily News. I just think he's incompetent because he's not Adam Schefter and he's not um, uh, Ian Rappaport. Um, He said that the owner, John Mara, was um, pushing for a competitive effort for the rest of the season, including Sunday's game against Dallas, but... Does John Mara have a fucking clue? Like, watch the team. I get it. They're bad, but did you forget your quarterback who you, ju- who you just paid tore his ACL and is out for the year? Your star running back hasn't been healthy the whole year. Your star left tackle hasn't been healthy the whole year. They've had the year from hell. And do not fire Joe Shane and Brian Dayball because of a couple of questionable decisions they've made. I get it. Evan Neal's a bust. Kayvon Thibodeau isn't Miles Garrett. And Daniel Jones has obviously not lived up to the contract, and that does not look good for Shane. But this is his second year, and he's taken over the mess that was left from Dave Gettleman. Nobody talks about that. The Giants are still paying for Dave Gettleman's mistakes. And that's why I think that Dayball and Shane deserve... A third year. Listen, I do think that the coordinators are probably in trouble. Wink Martindale, I think the league has kind of got to him, especially the good the good offenses. And I don't think Mike Kafka is a good offensive coordinator. So, um, we'll see what happens. And um, this Bills thing kind of turned into a Giants conversation because those two organizations are going to be linked. As long as um, Dave Ball's with the Giants and Josh Allen and how his career goes with the Bills. So, um, yeah. We'll see what the Bills do. And it was a surprising move, but someone had to be the fall person for Buffalo being 5-5. and It was just surprising how uh, soon they did it. Um... Excuse me. Um, the Bulls are open to trading Zach Levine. As both sides are willing um, for the move, um, the Sixers may wait on Levine as Philly will look into trade, but is more likely to make it deal closer to the deadline. Um, if I'm Philly, I stay status quo for now. Um, I don't like Levine personally, and I think he is just a good stats, bad team player. I mean, some might argue he's the guard version of Julius Randle. But heck, I think Julius Randle's a better player, arguably, than Zach Levine. Zach Levine is all offense, no defense. I mean, you could say the same for Julius Randle, but at least um, Randle on the right night will give you effort. And I think that's credit to his coach, Tom Thibodeau, who's a better coach than Billy Donovan, who... um, I'm surprised still has a job in the NBA. So, um, we'll see about Levine. Um, how about this? Missouri gets a five-star center. Jaden um, Quaintance? Actually, no. He's going to Kentucky instead of Missouri. I misread that. Sorry. Um, so, good guess for John Calipari. Um, U.S. Women's National Team. Uh Hires its coach, Emma Hayes. Um, six-time winner of Women's Super League. Um, very good hire by USWNT. And I think that she'll get a lot out of this group that is mostly young now with some of the uh, OGs retiring. Fairly Dickinson's locker room. 
had a makeover as they no longer are watching film in community shower after reaching its five hundred thousand dollar goal. That's awesome. And in big college sports news, um Oregon State and Wazoo win the Pac twelve lawsuit as they are the only remaining board members in the conference. Wow. So it's a two comp two team conference. I mean, they really should form some sort of alliance with the um, Mountain West. That's what's best for both parties. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, Yesterday, he was a winner with the Thunder, like the points against the Spurs. I'm going back to the association. For my best bet. And I um, feel pretty good about um the pick as well. And I'm going to take Minnesota getting the six in Phoenix. I'm going to lay a half unit on it. Uh, Minnesota's just playing good basketball right now, led by Anthony Edwards. Suns are a little bit of, and we're trying to figure things out kind of mode, so I'm going to take Minnesota plus the six in the desert against the Suns for my best bet of the day. All right, that's it for the show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything and looking ahead to everything tomorrow. I might do um, MLB off-season predictions either tonight or tomorrow night, so stay tuned for that as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.